Okay, so I'm going to swap out this uh, induction motor now. Check that the power is off. Power is off here. And if you really want to be really safe, you unplug the two-phase supply as well. Let's disconnect the little 24 volt AC supply to the uh, data acquisition interface. Pull all these leads out. This is from a previous test that I was doing. Okay. So first we're going to take this one. That allows me to drop this down. Take the belt off. Roll it around the pulley to take it off. Push it back up. Put those clips in. Now put the gloves on. Pull the lever. May or may not move. What the screwdriver's for. A bit of a leverage there. Grab the DC motor. Slide it in. prevents students from accidentally pulling it down themselves and electrocuting themselves. Little safety thing. Put the belt over one pulley and the second pulley roll it around. Tuck it under that. And then leave it. Ah. Now here's the problem. Evidently I've tightened that up too much. To rotate freely, so I'm just going to have to loosen that bolt up a bit. Gloves on. So, at the previous stage, when I was putting those belt tensioner back on, I obviously tightened it up. It's got a nylon inner on the nut, so it won't. That's good. So we know the rotor is spinning free. Now let's wire it up. So we're going to wire it up as a shunt motor. So we'll take one winding to the variable DC output, which is here. Make sure it's on minimum. Again to there, and you're going to excite the shunt winding as well. Two more windings, two more cables, fixed DC supply to the shunt winding. Okay, that's it, we're ready for testing. So we'll just plug it back in again.
Hopefully I've done everything right. Yeah, it's just fly back on there, which we don't really need that anyway. Okay. Now, power on. Oh, let's see what happens. So the DC motor seems to be working. Uh, this is one which actually lost quite a lot of what we call the smoke factor. Um, but I went through and I checked the resistance of all the windings and they seem to be okay. Uh, we've yet to check the series winding, so we can check that next. But in shunt sh winding configuration, so it seems to be working. I'll wind it down again. And we'll wire it up in the series winding as well. It's based on our lab book. Lab vault book. Uh, Series winding, fixed DC supports, series winding armature. I think we're going to be using the variable DC supports. Okay. So there it is, the series winding going through the rear stack. Let's see if we can get a circuit diagram. Shut winding. Series winding. So we'll use a circuit diagram to do another test. So basically, that's going to go to there. And that will go up to there. So let's just try that. Alright, so I say the initial test proves everything's okay. Finished.